Hare Krishna. Question, what is the Bhagavad Gita perspective on Elon Musk's taking over of Twitter? Answer, the Bhagavad Gita is a book of spiritual wisdom and its primary purpose is to help us ourselves see things in a way that can foster higher consciousness, foster selflessness, and not only act in that way, but see social developments in a way, whether they are conducive or non-conducive, for the furthering of the higher values and purposes of life. So from that perspective, the we can analyze Elon Musk taking over Twitter. The Bhagavad Gita says that it is important that truth be spoken. Spoken in talking about the discipline of speech, it talks about how sat, speaking satya is important. And in on Twitter, there was a significant level of uh, censorship or restriction of speech, especially for those with traditional and conservative values. Uh, and because of that, one narrative was being highly promoted and another was being strongly sub, uh, sub, not only subordinated, but misrepresented and denied any space. So one of the reasons which Elon Musk has given is that he wants free, the ethos of free, free, speech, free speech to be restored on Twitter. So that will be good if more and more people with traditional views, not just traditional in terms of condemning modernity, but tradition as relevant to modernity. If those have a space and a voice, uh, then that is good. A former head of Twitter actually openly uh, supported anti-Brahminical movements. And in general, the any support of Hinduism is equated Hindutva and is labeled right-wing extremism and is often obstructed, if not uh, silenced. So that kind of censorship, uh, Twitter, first of all, has no right to do that because it claims uh, privileges based on being just a medium and not a publisher. And then it exhibits censorship. So if that can be avoided, then that will be a positive development. The Bhagavad Gita itself is about spiritual knowledge being shared and it says that ideally the, the state ruling heads of state and the state government should be facilitating or, order in society and facilitating the dissemination of spiritual wisdom which can act as an impetus and foundation for establishing order in society. So while Twitter is not a state, uh, any uh, the government of any state or country, but it is a transnational organization whose influence in some ways can exceed the influence even of, uh, gov of governments of small countries. The fact that Twitter could ban the president of uh, America indicates its power. So I'm not taking political sides in a political debate over here. The fact is that if Twitter is biased towards leftist narratives and against uh, religious and spiritual principles, then that is a problem. Now, uh, we may say that, oh, social media is just a cesspool and why, be, why bother about what happens over there? Yes, social media can be a cesspool where people can get suck, sucked into. At the same time, it is undeniable that, especially in the younger generation, most people get their news and form their views based on what is present on social media, especially on social media giants like uh, Facebook, Twitter, and to some extent TikTok, although that is of course banned in India. Uh, but the point is that if these social media giants are going to favor only a particular narrative, then an entire generation can get cut off from tradition and traditional perspectives and can get biased towards a particular narrative without any significant effort also being, need, being made or needed to be made. So if 
we want the spiritual traditions of india to at least be available for exploration for the younger generation for them their lived universe is in many ways within the social media so this need to be available and in that sense social media uh, the social media being uh, unbiased and allowing free speech is important for the dissemination of spiritual knowledge now of course this is not to make a a uh, uh, ethical st- statement about the ethics of uh, elon musk or to support him uh, particularly the point is that that this development can help in establishing a more level playing field for those who are trying to preserve spiritual culture and share spiritual wisdom and of course how things turn out is something which only time will tell but if what was the intent at least the spoken intent in trying to take over uh, twitter is what is actualized then that could be a positive development so from the gita's perspective this development could help in re- in creating resources on social media by which human consciousness can be raised more towards sattva towards goodness where there will be more contemplativeness more awareness of the truth and then better decision making in pursuance of the higher purposes of life based on the higher values which come from spiritual wisdom and spiritual culture thank you hari krishna